CFA are assembling an armored column to the north of Nova Braga Airport. Your job is to wipe them out. Listen to the tape for the contract details. Just be aware that the column's commander served with 5 Commando, and later made a name for himself in South Africa's 32 Battalion. He's a hardened veteran, so don't take him lightly. Boss, I have a report from the intel team. The targets are now on the move. I've sent their predicted route to your iDroid. Check your map.
stories about this one, boss. Boss, as we suspected, the mastermind behind the kid's escape was Eli. It's hard to believe, but apparently he'd been plotting an armed uprising against us. He could be hiding something else, too. Ocelot's gonna press him for answers. Get back here as quick as you can. I told you, your father's not here. <clears throat> they're back. Yes, they're back. But don't get any bright ideas. Your quarters are under full surveillance. Your weapons privileges have been suspended. No more uprisings for you. Did you really think it would be that easy, Commander? You'll get your boys back. Even see the boss too. But first, I need to know what you sent them to do. <clears throat> they wanted to leave. To their homelands. They wanted to go home. That's all. So they were just homesick then. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Militia warlords, PFs. The armies that murdered their families. Cousins, brothers, parents. They all had someone they wanted to kill. <laughs> I told them, last chance to face the world with no regrets. Last chance. You better be ready for your drag back here. Ready to face the world as enemies. <laughs> <laughs> no! I don't need you anymore. Really, an accident? Or did Eli just rig it to stir up the boys? Either way, he had to have been planning for this all along. Bidding farewell to the world. About Eli hijacking Salanthropus. We know how he got it moving. It was Emmerich. He used the kids in the staff living quarters to carry out his repairs. We got the details on tape. You're gonna wanna hear this. You know, when you brought back all the child soldiers who escaped, Eli knew they'd returned. 
Needless to say, nobody said a word to him. I guess they got a message to him somehow. Eli wasn't put in the corner in time out. He was locked up in that room, completely cut off from the outside world. Then how'd he find out? It's only one possibility I can think of. The Soviet Union has been researching military applications for psi phenomena. Psi? Things like psychokinesis and ESP, extrasensory perception. You mean moving objects without touching them? Knowing what card somebody's holding up? Psychic powers? Come on. I thought that was just another bunch of disinformation aimed at the West. Just bear with me a second. One type of ESP is telepathy. It's the ability to know another person's thoughts through nonverbal means. You're saying Eli read our minds? It's the only idea that doesn't involve someone getting to him. <sighs> Ocelot. Look, psi research isn't some hocus-pocus. It's all evidence-based, scientific... There's gotta be another explanation. Maybe one of the kids stuck a note to your back. I hope that's the case. But I am convinced that they have, or Eli has, a connection to some force we have yet to identify. You better watch yourself, boss. How am I supposed to do that? If he is depending on something for help, well, that's his Achilles heel. If you can figure out what that something is, you might be able to use it against him. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and the medical team is looking after the kids left on Mother Base. For the moment, they don't seem too panicked. But boss, get this. Eli got those kids to plot their armed uprising as a diversion. Also, he could steal Sahalanthropus and escape. That brat got us good. Set us up and knocked us down. And then there's that mystery kid who was with Eli. With those two working together, I'd say things won't be over for a long time yet. we've got the results of Eli's genetic tests, we can finally put this worry behind us. We used the PCR technique and conducted DNA fingerprinting of the copied DNA sequences. Neither is mainstream science yet, but the concepts and procedures are sound. Both tests say there is 0% chance that the two of you are blood relatives, meaning the results are negative. He's not your son, nor is he your clone. He's just another person. It was 12 years ago that Zero made plans to clone you. Eli's age and appearance certainly are a good fit. I admit the first time I saw him, I did a double take. But it looks like we were worried for nothing. Eli isn't your clone. Though you might still have one somewhere out there. But if Eli isn't the boss's clone, why does he seem so obsessed with him? Not to mention having one hell of an attitude for his age. <sighs> I don't know. Learning the truth about himself, cursing the fact he's a clone, bearing a grudge against selfish adults, and coming to hate who he was cloned from. Big boss. If that were really the case, I could understand it. I might even feel a bit sorry for him. <sighs> but no clone could have a totally different DNA fingerprint. And the test left no room for error. You yourself were there when we drew Eli's blood sample. Come to think of it, when we went to OKB-0, he'd snuck onto a chopper and was there. Yeah. He was acting strange even then. Or actually from a little before that time. That was exactly when we began these tests. Maybe he suspected something when we drew the sample, not knowing what we were doing to him, and becoming mistrustful of us. Hard to say. Eli's had an attitude problem from day one. So what is he then? Well, if he's gonna tell us that himself, we'll need to get him to open up more first. What was your goal in having the children repair Sahalanthropus? I just answered their questions. I had no idea they would actually try to fix it. I mean, can you imagine a child piloting it? Oh, sure. Easily. It wouldn't work. Well, I bet it's just like riding a bike. I said it didn't work. It... Uh, Who did you try? I, I didn't. Did you put your son in it? Uh, we never did that. His name was, uh, Pal, wasn't it? I, I thought you said you never saw his face. But you made him pilot Sahalanthropus. You used him in your experiments. 
He wanted to get in. It was such a short time we had. So he was with you. We were happy. You're still happy now. Changing your lies to suit the listener and getting by slipping through the cracks. Building layer upon layer of convenient stories until nothing means anything to you anymore. You're happy all the time because you don't even notice you're doing it. Think hard. Who are you really? You're not a victim and you're not the silent majority. You're a perpetrator and a petty hypocrite. The real world doesn't make you suffer. It's the other way around. <laughs>